XLY4 News Morning Sprint is brought to you by Park Gordon Law. It is 6.50, time to get you ready to take on your Thursday with the morning spread. Our sports team is live in Anaheim where the countdown to the Zag Sweet 16 tip-off is on. And Mark Peterson tracking what's been a rainy morning so far. But first, Washington's smoking age will soon be raised to 21. Washington lawmakers approved a bill yesterday to solidify the change. And now Governor Jay Inslee has announced he will sign it. Inslee tweeted a message saying he and his wife Trudy have supported this bill for years. And he looks forward to signing it. Once it has the governor's signature, it will take effect January 1st of next year. The bill not only raises the age to buy tobacco, but also to purchase vaping products. According to the governor, one out of every five high school students uses e-cigarettes. Three people were inside a truck that led troopers on a high-speed chase last night. It started on I-90 near Spokane and ended more than 50 miles to the west near Creston. 26-year-old Jaime Balderas from Pasco was driving this truck when a trooper tried to pull him over for speeding. Balderas kept driving, though, and exited onto State Route 2. The truck sped up to 100 miles per hour at times and kept driving even after spike strips popped its tires. The chase finally came to an end near Creston, where troopers used a pit maneuver to stop it. Valderas and the two other men who were inside were all arrested. Valderas was charged with DUI. One trooper's patrol car was also damaged. We have not heard of any injuries to law enforcement. A 33-year-old man is in custody, accused of a deadly rampage in North Seattle last night. Two people were killed, two others injured. According to police, the gunman walked out of his home holding a gun around 4 o'clock. He tried to carjack a woman but shot her instead. He then shot at a bus, hitting the driver who was able to put that bus in reverse and take the passengers to safety. The gunman then turned to a nearby car, shot and killed the driver, and took off in it. Police chased him until he crashed into another car, killing that driver. The gunman was then arrested. Hi, good morning, everybody. We've started off with some light showers, uh, some moderate rain to the north. We're going to see a continuation of cloudy conditions Friday, 53, 60s, low 60s for the weekend with sunshine. So that's looking pretty nice. Right now, we look at the radar, and it's very active over into Idaho. You see snow coming in. Look at that. Right along I-90, then we get a dry break. So that continues to make its way north. We're going to continue to dry out throughout the day, but still, we're going to have that threat of scattered showers all the way to tomorrow early morning. It is game day in Anaheim, California. The Gonzaga Bulldogs looking for some revenge against the Florida State Seminoles. This is going to be a very, very good matchup. You're going to want to tune in at 409. Hopefully the Zags stay healthy today. No late scratch like Kelly and Tilly against Florida State last year. If they go at it 100%, should be one heck of a basketball game. We'll have you covered on social media all day long as we get you ready for tip-off here in Anaheim. And while 409 is not exactly the most convenient time for a big game like today, there are still a few places around Spokane holding watch parties. If you do happen to be free, you're invited to watch the game for free at the historic Bing Crosby Theater, downtown Spokane. They'll play it on their 30-foot HD screen and state-of-the-art sound system. Doors open at 3. Seating is first come, first serve. Or you can experience the Sweet 16 matchup at the Garland Theater. This watch party is also free. All ages are welcome. The theater is on 924 West Garland Avenue. Again, tip-off is at 409. Go Zags. And while it is a big day in the world of basketball, also today marks the start of baseball season. Today's March 28th opening day is the earliest a Major League Baseball season has ever started. All 30 teams will play today. The Mariners and the Oakland A's started their season a little early in Japan last week, but the M's are back in the U.S. for their official home opener in the new T-Mobile Park today. First pitch against the Boston Red Sox is at 410. Under nationwide and global scrutiny, Boeing is making changes to its 737 MAX planes. The company has announced an overhaul to the aircraft software system, which is believed to be responsible for two deadly crashes in recent months. Each 737 MAX plane will now have its software updated. Pilots will also get more flight training and complete more computer-based training to help them understand the system. And this morning, we've been telling you about ways to get your kids excited about saving money. Over at STCU, they bring these money jars into local classrooms. It's divided up into three categories, spend, save, and share. 
If they have not visited your kid's school yet, don't worry, don't get upset. This is something you could easily do at home. And experts actually say it's a pretty good thing to do it with things like mason jars that you might have lying around. Write, save, spend, and share on each one and watch the money pile up for your kids. And once they get it to the top, maybe bring them into a local bank and get them started on their own savings account. Watch that interest keep increasing. Today you have a chance to learn about becoming a law enforcement agent. The Spokane County Sheriff's recruiting team is holding an open house and it's open to anyone interested in applying for a position. The event is tonight from 6 to 8 at the Spokane Valley Precinct. Reservations are required, so if you want your name on the list, call that number you see on your screen. Uh, we'll actually have that online. Check-in starts at 545. <laughs> The shovels have broken ground on Horizon Middle School in Spokane Valley, the beginning of a $29 million renovation. The money comes from a bond that voters in the CV School District approved last year. The district says the current building is outdated and too small. The new school will be able to hold an extra 120 students when it opens in 2020. Classes are being held at the former U High that is uh, during construction for the new Horizon. Well, if the dangers of driving distracted aren't enough to convince you to keep your eyes on the road, this might be. Agencies across the state are adding extra patrols starting today to look for distracted drivers on Washington's roads. Remember, it is illegal for drivers to hold cell phones while driving or even while stopped in traffic or at a stoplight. If you're caught, your first ticket will be $136. Coming up next on Good Morning America. Let's hit our community like a Cat 5 hurricane. The demand for answers after a fight in a fifth grade classroom left a 10-year-old girl dead with the school saying this morning and what happened to the student responsible. And the president calls it an embarrassment to our nation. The president has just announced the FBI and Department of Justice will review why charges were dropped against actor Jesse Smollett. Outside, we've got a pretty good commute underway. I think you're going to like it. Wet roadways, take it easy. It's going to be scattered showers 48, uh, 53 and cloudy. The weekend, sunny and 60. Just in time. Just in time. Just in time. All right, GMA starts right now. We'll see you throughout the morning.